Hey everyone, I hope you all are doing good and having a wonderful day. In this video, I am going to show you that how we can find local file inclusion vulnerabilities using an automated tool. In the previous two videos, we saw that how we can find LFIs using manual methods, right? And we also saw that how we can bypass uh, some common web application firewall restrictions. If you didn't check that videos, then I am dropping the links in the comment section. You can just go ahead and check them out. Also, if you haven't checked out my previous video in which I have shown you that how we can find prototype pollution vulnerabilities, what is prototype pollution vulnerabilities and how we can find them, then go ahead and check it out. The link is also given in the description as well as you can click on the link showing right over here right and now once you have done that then i have a special announcement for you guys first thing first is that we have hit around 10,000 subscribers so thank you so much guys for supporting me so you know i can't believe that i am able to reach this milestone it's a big it's a big achievement for me you know so thank you so much thank you so much for supporting me thank you so much for keeping your faith in me so yeah Keep supporting me guys and I'll promise you that I'll try to bring as many quality content related to cybersecurity as possible, right? The second thing is that I have a special gift for you all in, a, in occasion of 10,000 subscriber, you know? So if you're into cybersecurity, I bet you are. If you're into penetration testing, if you're into bug bounty, if you're into malware analysis and all these stuffs, all these cool stuffs, then go ahead and check out securecy.io. Why I'm telling you this is, let's check out their website first so that you'll understand. So as you can see, they are a crowdsourced cybersecurity training platform, right? So all these things are, you know, crowdsourced. And the first thing is, so they have done over 350 plus events, including webinars, boot camps, and all these cool stuffs, right? So you will get a lot of knowledge from security.io, right? And if you become their pro member, then you'll get even more, like you'll get access to their recorded lectures. And they also have free lectures as well, right? You can see this one is actually free, right? You can see there is no uh this one this icon is not over here only for pro subscriber which means that this one is free right so you can access that you can access this as well right so there's a lot of things that you can access without giving any rupees to security.io and that's the beauty of this particular platform right so if you have uh, uh, if you have a little bit of money you can just go and get the pro membership and you'll not regret it even if you don't have any money still you'll be access uh, you'll be able to access free materials over here which are just mind blowing right i happen to be one of their instructor as well so as you can see let me just go to my instructor page so i already have given few uh, webinars and boot camps on this particular uh, platform so if you're interested if you want to check this out actually then you want to use the pro membership but even without that you'll still be able to access many free webinars and boot camps right so this is the reason why i told you about securez.io now the thing is that you must be thinking about what is the gift right so the gift is that if you want if you want to become their pro membership so initially you see over here you have to pay eight dollars a month right but using this special code which is fayas 50 you will be able to get 50 percent discount which means that you will be able to get this particular uh, pro membership in four dollars right now, isn't this amazing, right? So if you are interested, if you want to buy their pro membership, then the coupon code uh, is given in the description as well as it is showing right over here. So you can just go and enroll into their pro membership program, right? Now, I hope that you've understood it. Now, let's get back to our topic. So now let us try to see that how we can find local file inclusion vulnerabilities using an automated method, right? So in this particular video, we are going to use a simple tool known as FF. We already have covered FF in our previous videos, right? So it's actually very easy to install FF. Let's go to our uh, terminal over here. And we can just type sudo apt install FF like this. Let me just turn off my caps lock. apt install FF minus Y. Provide the password. And you see FF is already the newest version in my case, but in your case, it's going to take some time depending on your internet connection. Once we have FF, let's try to see what is the target on which we are going to hack on. So, and this is actually a very uh, interesting target. Why I'm saying this? Because this target has a web application firewall as well, right? So let's see how we can bypass that as well. I can just type sudo su. And uh, let's see the target. So this is the target over here. So I'm just going to set up my burp suit real quick. And then we are going to see that how we can hack into it. So let me just open my burp suit real quick. So you see here is our burp suit. I'm just going to 
put it right over here and let me just open my browser and i'm going to put it on the left side of my screen so that we can see everything parallelly so i'm just going to enable my burp let's verify whether everything's working fine or not i'm just going to hit with google we've got secured connection fail okay um let me just see this where it happened it's going to hit enter again okay no issues let me just restart my burp again set burp suit let me hit google again let's wait for a few seconds yeah and as you can see now everything is working fine so we are good to go and let's find the vulnerability on this particular target okay so the target is I'm just going to copy the name from here let's paste it right over here now see this is the web application on which we want to find a specific vulnerability which is local file inclusion vulnerability right so remember I've told you in my previous videos to find local file inclusion vulnerabilities, we can look for certain parameters, right? For an easy win. So we know some of the parameters are file name, uh, like um, you can say source, something like that, right? Which includes some kind of file, right? So what we can do is we can check over here that if there's any download section, that would be easy for us. And as you can see here, it is the download section. Let's click on that and i think here is are the downloads the files that we can download i guess yes this one this one as you can see in the bottom bottom left you can see that there is a file name parameter and there's actually a file name right so we can just open this in new tab i'm just going to close it and as you can see the file has been downloaded right so this is a perfect place for us to look for lfis so i'm just going to turn on my burp suit like this and just hit the URL again. Let's send this to repeater. I don't want to send it back to my browser, so I'm just going to go with drop. And now let's try to analyze this particular target. Okay. So if you see right over here, uh, this file name is getting, you know, uh, rendered, right? So we are able to download this particular file. So we already know that in order to find LFI, what we can do is we can add two dot with a forward slash, right? And I'm assuming that this is a Linux based uh, server on which this particular application is hosted. So let's try to do etc slash password, right? So I'm just going to do etc slash password. Let's send this request. And now you see right over here that it has responded with 406 not acceptable. That says that an appropriate representation of the uh, request resource could not be found on the server this error was generated by mod security so mod security you can say is a default web application firewall which is in, uh, which is pre-installed in apache 2 servers right so since uh, here we can analyze the thing that since it is blocking us right by the web application firewall so we can confirm one thing that this could be a password right over here, right? So there could be a password value which is inside the server. That's why on this particular string slash etc slash password, it is doing something like that. Let's get rid, rid of this. Let's try to understand how the firewall is working. So you see again, if, even if I, if I give etc, it, it's just responded with 403 not acceptable. Okay, let's do password over here. Just wanted to show you the demonstration. Yeah, so as you can see, it says 200, okay, which means the uh, the value which which is getting flagged by the uh, web application firewall is this slash etc, right? From here, we are able to confirm that. Now, what we can do is we can use ff and uh, we can use ff to find the directories or the file present on this particular server. Now, as we know that, as you can see right over here, the extension is PHP. So we can assume from here that all the files name that are present on the server is uh, ending with .php extension, right? So we can utilize this knowledge on this particular target to find more files, right? which have uh, you know dot php extension because you know it is only flagging the etc part so there's a weak implementation of the web application firewall so we can easily be able to download the source code right let's see how we can do this first thing first what i'm going to do is so one of the common word that you will find when you are uh, testing this kind of uh, application based on php is that 
every around every uh, php based web application have a file which is known as index.php okay so you can just go and play with that index.php let's try to see and as you can see the firewall is actually not blocking us this time right it just says that file not found if you look at the response code it is saying 200 okay which means we are good to go and now let's add a double dot with a forward slash let's send this and now you see that we were able to pull out the source code right so we we're able to get the index.php file as you can see right over here right so we are actually able to show the impact and we were able to conclude that there is a lfi vulnerability right apparently now that we have understand that there is a uh, path traversal right after this uh, double dot and for, uh, forward slash what we can do is we can just copy the url and we can just open the new tab over here and let's try to use ff for this okay so first thing first you need to install checklist so let's install checklist into our machine checklist minus y and again you can see that checklist is already the newest version in my case right i'm just going to clear it out and now we can type ff minus u let's press target and we are going to change the name of index as for fuzz sorry right and then we are going to choose the word list so user shares checklist discovery web content and i'm going to go with raft medium directories dot txt okay and again i'm going to go with minus ac because i want ff to automatically filter out the uh, random requests and responses okay and uh, if you want to know where is your checklist has been located you can just type checklist like this and you'll see that it is located in user share checklist which i have mentioned over here okay and now let's try to hit enter and let's see what will happen after that you see right over here we've got a lot of 200s right so apparently these are the files that are present on the server right that we can see the uh, source code right because we know that this header this footer and since we have ended this first with first.php then we know that they, these are nothing but the php files right so we are able to see the source code of these particular files hosted on the web application let's try to see one for example i'm going i'm going to go with download.php so you can type over here download.php send this and again as you can see we are able to get the source code right so in the in the source code there could be a lot of dangerous things right maybe they are using some kind of uh, code that that will allow us to do remote code execution something like that uh, the the fact that we are able to see the source code which means that this is a critical level severity vulnerability right and i was able to find the same vulnerability on one of the private targets in which i was able to do the same thing and that resulted me a good amount of bounty okay so this is how you can find lfis using ff using an automated way kind of an automated way because you know you always have to use some kind of manual uh, techniques on the target so that you'll get ahead of from the rest of the people who are into pen testing or bug bounties right so this is basically how you can find uh, lfis right so we got a lot of uh, files php files over here let's say let's i'm going to try this one tell friend right so let's see uh you can you can just do tell friend let's send this and as you can see again we've got a lot of source code over here so this is the source code presented over here. you can see we've got the pid right this could be dangerous so yeah i'm not going to show everything over here because that would be dangerous because they may be hosting some sensitive information like an api key or something like that right and i also encourage you to not try this on this particular target or any live target until it is a bug bounty uh, target okay so yeah this is how you can find lfis on live application using an automated way using ff I hope that you've understood it. So if you have any doubts, if you have any issues, feel free to let me know your doubts or issues in the comment section. Also, do join our Telegram channel if you want to stay updated with the latest trends and technologies in the cybersecurity domain. 
right and if you like the way i teach then i have two courses running the first one is hacking windows with python where you want to learn that how we can create our own custom payload that can be used to hack any type of windows machine that can execute cell commands download and upload files and do a bunch of crazy stuff the second course is bug bounty the ultimate guide to hunt account takeovers if you are into bug mounting stuff and if you want to learn that how hackers can actually find these vulnerabilities that resulting in taking over anyone's account right how they get million of dollars by just you know finding these kind of vulnerabilities then go ahead and check that course of mine in which you're going to learn that how we can abuse or find web applications misconfiguration that basically results in taking over anyone's account without the user's interaction right so i'm going to drop the links of both of these courses into my description and once again if you are interested go ahead and check out security.io you're gonna love it it's an awesome platform right so just uh, the link of the security as well as the coupon code is given in the description as well so you can just click on that and you can get the pro membership with 50 percent off so the time is actually very limited so again if you're interested then go ahead and check it out and now with that being said keep learning keep hacking and thanks for watching